What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to talk to you guys about the spoiler. Today I got these clips and they do go on pretty well, but they're still a bit off. So I think what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and just fiberglass over this. That way I could drill a hole in and just put a screw in and then that will pretty much be my mounting point. And I won't have to use these uh, U-clips that usually goes onto the spoiler. So once I do that, um, probably gonna do off camera unless you guys wanna see me do that process then let me know in the comments down below but if not I'm just gonna do it off camera because it's uh it's just body work and people don't really like to watch body work so um, but other than that um, pretty much complete for the rear end and so what we can do now is start on the front and so let me go and show you guys what I got for the front it's pretty exciting and let's go from there so this whole front looks pretty complete already, right? You can see it's done. Uh, th however, this one is a Zanke corner light. The other side is a Kuki. And this is an original hood. It's metal. And these are fiberglass fenders. However, this whole front end, other than the bumper, is going onto my brother's silver coupe that uh, we're gonna be bringing up pretty soon because we're gonna be converting his to 11 front as well. And then I'm taking his Trino front and putting it onto my hatch. So I have a few things for my new front end already. I have a hood on the way and um, I wasn't expecting to get fenders yet because I was just gonna order these fiberglass ones from group A again, but I got something pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, check those out. Like I said, I wasn't planning on getting these, but I was down south for the holidays a few weeks ago and these just happened to pop up online and so I just decided to get them because I felt like they're pretty hard to find and what I got is OEM metal 11 fenders and so it's pretty cool and let's go ahead and unwrap these and then we'll get a closer look at them so here you have it these are OEM 11 fenders straight from Japan and they're in pretty good shape overall you can see the arches it has a little bit of bondo which I'm scared to dig deep in. Um, I feel that they might be pretty rippled when I uncover it. But it's okay, we'll probably just uh, bang it out and do the best we can in repairing that as well. Uh, there is some rust here which I'll have to uh, just repair. Put a new plate on just so I could mount the bumper on. And the worst part is this right here so there is some rust here and you can see there's rust around this whole thing so i'm gonna have to do a lot of rust repair on this fender which isn't a bad deal it is metal so i'm super happy with that uh, finding these metal fenders are super hard to find nowadays and if you do find them they cost a lot and so i got these for a pretty good deal off some guy off offer up i was down south and uh just so happened to just search it and I found them this side is a little better you can see there's there's less rust everywhere and it's in a lot better shape than on the other side so luckily we won't have to do too much work as you can see here I'm gonna have to try to replicate something like this but I think a straight piece would uh, do just fine uh, this side has bondo as well as you can see here it's already breaking off but we'll figure something out and the underside is completely rotted out as you can see here uh, because they cut it and try to roll it and uh, they rolled it actually okay but you can see there's ripples on the inside here so that means that it's probably pretty beat up but it's okay another thing too is the rust down here so my brother was saying don't even address it just kind of uh, treat it with rust preventer and paint it afterwards because the side skirts will cover it so I'm not really sure if I want to do that or if I should just repair it. So let me know what you guys think as well. This side is pretty bad as you can see here and uh, still has the mounting spots which is great right here. So yeah pretty excited about this. Uh, this whole car is going to be a lot of work now because I, I didn't expect to get these. So body work is going to take a long time and I don't know if I want to record that as well because uh, People just really aren't interested in watching body work. So let me know if you guys do kind of want to see a little bit of the process or if you guys just want to see updates here and there. Let's go ahead and uh, put on the fenders first just to kind of test try it and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the fenders are on and uh, they fit freaking amazing guys. I'm so happy with these fenders despite all of the little uh, 
rust spots that I have and what how I have to fix it. And honestly, I love the way OEM fits. It's always better than uh, fiberglass. But if you can't afford OEM or you can't find it, honestly, personally, my opinion is I don't really care if it if it's OEM style and it looks good and it still fits, or you just have to tweak it a little. Um, it's it's still a good alternative to go but i was just lucky to get this uh like i said i was just gonna get these fenders again because i am pretty happy with the fitment of these uh, they took little work just to get it to fit and so um group a does a great job he does a lot of uh, 86 stuff and so he only has a hood that i was gonna get but uh i decided to go a different route with it and so it's i'm still waiting for that to come in but um yeah, super excited. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at these fenders and see the fitment. So I made a mistake. This is actually the kooky one. Uh, the zinky one's on the other side. And um, the fitment is a little different. The cool thing is uh, they have like different mounting points uh, for zinky or kooky, which is pretty cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at it. And it fits flawlessly. So you can see the gap here is perfect. Super minimum gap which is what you want has a little bit of bulging right here but that's not too bad and like i said you don't even see the rust at the bottom even without the side skirts so still kind of an option um should i actually take a lot of time and fix it or should i just do a, a really great patch job so and prevent the rust from from uh, spreading more because you don't see it until you actually go all the way down here and the side skirts actually do come all the way up here uh, you can see kind of where the old side skirts were already before uh, it kind of covers all this right here so yeah i might go that route since it's a little easier kind of gets me going a little faster i don't i'm not running moldings anyways i'm not too big of a fan of that unless you are doing this two-tone uh, you need the moldings because it, it, it's the white part that completes it. But I'm not a big fan of two-tone. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of the moldings. But two-tone does look pretty good though. A lot of my parts are two-tone or panda. But um, let's look at this side. Here is the rusty spot right here. It's pretty sad to look at. Might have to get a tetanus shot after this. So yeah, as you can see here, this is the Zanki. And the difference between the Zanki corner lights and the Kuki is the size difference of this uh, amber signal part so the cookie actually goes all the way up here and the zinky is just this little piece right here super hard to find so a lot of guys even with zinky um fronts they just go cookie corners so you can see it's a little bit off right here but i just might have to adjust it forward but uh, other than that you can see the gap is uh pretty tight here as well a little bit of bulging but not too bad that really bad rust spot not even noticeable even from far away or uh, from looking at it from this point of view but yeah let's go ahead and close the hood and see how it looks like so here we have it hood is closed and the fenders are on man these fenders are so amazing little bit of gap it's here which it's easily adjustable this is a little bit too tight so you kind of want it to be a little bit more out but yeah you can see this is like perfect so it's poking just a little bit this side is a little bit too far in so I'm gonna have to pull it forward more and hopefully that will align it with the bumper uh, this bumper is not on all the way too so there you guys have it those are my new fenders for the front and uh, the back is complete the front's coming along nicely now and uh, just waiting on some parts Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today. It's kind of dark already. I have some exciting news and I have some kind of disappointing news as well. But I'll let you guys know in the next vlog. It'll be out in maybe about a day or two. So stay tuned and I uh, hope you guys like today's video. And yeah, so uh, I just reached 300 subscribers and I just want to say thank you all for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Just want to do a big shout out to all you guys that watch my videos. Help support me. And it uh, really means a lot to me. I know it's kind of a small milestone, but uh, it's big for me. And so, yeah, thanks, guys. I uh, really appreciate all of the love and support. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Peace.